Ladies and gentlemen, Dangerous Dan Matthews here with JCP Wild World of Wrestling. Got a, a brand new debuting superstar, the face of the NWA, Mr. Main Event himself, Rolando. Come on in here, Rolando. Get some words with you, sir. I gotta say, man, this is a lucky day for you. A lucky day for you because you are in the presence of Rolando. Are you feeling good about that, man, huh? Don't answer that question, you look stupid. So, here's the thing, Gustavo, you are the JCP television champion. I've been Matt Cordona twice. I've run rough shot over the NWA, okay? I am a main event superstar. And you've had, this is your seventh defense? Your seventh? I'd hate to break it to you, man. Seven is an unlucky number. And it just so happens that you're gonna be in the ring with a killer, a pit bull, me. And you ain't gonna come out so lucky. I'm gonna be the new JCP television champion and I'm gonna cash in on Silas and you're gonna see Rolando as the new Southeastern heavyweight champion. Got a nice ring to it, huh? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, Rolando, Mr. Main Event, the face of the NWA. He's gonna take on Gustavo here and hopefully the Southeastern champion later on as well. Telling people how you really feel, they let you know how they really feel. And I think Tyler Thorner's learned the hard way that you can't always be honest with everybody. Dream Weaver Wayne Moxie making his entrance. I like this guy. I like his intensity, I like his energy, but I gotta believe he's in for a hell of a match against Tyler Thorne tonight. And Moxie better not rest, he better not take anything for granted, uh, because I've seen Tyler Thorne wrestle guys before that, that are underestimated him, and, he, and they wound up on the wrong end of the gun if you get my drift. You were talking earlier about Guys evolving. I've gotten to see Wayne Moxie evolve into the Dreamweaver persona that he is now. He's gotten so much better over time and he fits so much better into this persona than I think he has any other that he's taken on. Well, you know as well as I do as we wait for the bell here. There you go. You can talk about experience all day long, but you can't give it to him. And Wayne Moxie's gained that experience. He's gained that confidence, and I think that's a huge, huge element that makes him a dream weaver. There you go, that little awkward roll right there. This is one of the many different things he's incorporated into his style of wrestling now. The thing is, it works. The little things he's doing is working right now. So why change? He's just, as you said, evolving and uh, getting better every day. The different things that just throw people off their game. Let's not sell Tyler Thorne short at all either. This is a big kid who's been there for a long time. I, I don't know if he's that, that much of a kid anymore, except he's been around, he's got experience, and he still has that youthful energy that, that uh, that brutality that you need at that age. He is second generation as well. Oh! 
Moxie does. He's keeping it quick. Oh, a low knee there. What a knee. All right. Blocks a hip toss. Smart thinking on Moxie's part. Going for a backslide here. He gets it. Back to that arm. That's what I like about Moxie. He's quick. He doesn't give up. And he's relentless when he grabs a body part. Uh, you know, I've watched this guy for a, for a while. And this he, he's one of those guys that you never know what he's thinking next. But he's always going to be on top of his opponent. Back up to the ropes here. Oh, oh my. Big spine well, buster. That was it. No. No. Very close, ah. though. Very close. Late choke. You're not going to beat him that way, Tyler. you got to do something to either make him give up or pin him. I'm not even sure why the referee made a count there. He was yeah. right on the throat. Yeah, this is where Tyler Thorne is dangerous. And you don't want to give him an inch because I guarantee you he will kick you, he will punch you, he will hurt you. Ow. Big short arm clothesline and he hangs on to it. Yeah, Tyler wants to punish Wayne Moxie. Gonna do it again. Don't get too friendly with it. No, don't try it again. You might be making a mistake. One more. Whoa, oh, oh, man. Just about clotheslines Moxie right out of his boots. Yeah. Good kick out. I, Wayne Moxie looks dazed. Looks like he got run over by a truck. Oh. Big forearm. Takes Moxie back to that corner. Ow! Huge forearms to the side of the head. And into that buckle hard. Tyler Thorne does have the weight advantage in this in this matchup. That was a lot of force taking him to that turn buckle. Yeah, but I think he's waiting too long with a guy like Moxie. Bunch of gut shots here. Oh. Big, big knee. Oh, Moxie falls behind. Back flips to his feet. Nice counter by Moxie. Oh, Thor needs turnbuckle. Big running knee. Beautiful. This is where Moxie starts turning up the heat. This could be it. No. Just a two count. Well, Moxie, what's he signaling for here? He's going to try to put uh, Thorne to sleep here. Yeah. It's his sweet dreams. Oh, Thorne's got the eyes. Yeah, just small and Wayne Moxie is Tyler Thorne now picking up for a oh! Death Valley driver. And that is it for the Wayne Moxie. So I said Wayne Moxie put up a valiant effort or is the match over? Yeah, the match is over. It's why I'm the man. I'm the best damn wrestler in this building. And I'm coming after that JCP television title. Better bet your ass on that. Better call it out the television title. Strong words by Tyler Thorne. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with more action right here on JCP. Tonight. Joe Cassano promotion
Worldwide of Wrestling, Gustavo Aguilar, the Latin lover, el Latino, el sensation, el papi más rico, mamacita, you know, Mwah! I'm back, your TV champion, está aquí, at Joe Casano Promotion, and tonight, I go one on one, hombre y hombre, contra Rolando Freeman. Now, Rolando, papi, well, I can't call you papi yet, because tonight, it is the battle of the papis. See, you call yourself el papacito, yo me llamo el papacito. So tonight, not just for the TV championship, because after tonight, when I beat you, this will be my seventh victory. And, well, if I have my math correct, that, it, that means that I get to be able to have an opportunity to cash this beautiful championship in for a championship match against the world heavyweight Champion and Silas Mason, bueno, tú eres próximo. But right now, tonight, it's not about Silas, it's not about that title, it's about this right here and la batallas de los papis. So, Rolando, primo, hermano, tonight is the night. I'll see you in that ring. Mwah! See confidence personified. Look at this guy right here. Look at this young man. No, he's smoking a cigar on the right end there. That's man. what I was just about yeah. to say. <laughs> what do you think, man? Was, hey, if you've got the confidence to do it, why not? Why not? <laughs> this guy going right here. <laughs> Got to give it to Rolando. I got to tell you, this is going to be a television title action here. Like you said, no lack of confidence here, here Doc. You got to believe it, and he believes it with all his heart. Rolando is in there. Uh, and he's letting everybody know he believes he is the best. But he's got he's got this young man to deal with, the television champion. Talk about charisma. Talk about personality. And yeah, let's throw confidence in there too. This guy, Gustavo, has really made an impact at JCP. Definite fan favorite. A fighting television champion. Look at the roses he's got by his belt. Who do you think he's going to hand those to, man? Oh, you. He hands them out to the fans, just like right there. Yeah, goes around dancing with the fans, dancing with the young ladies in the crowd. Gonna save one for his opponent. Uh oh, I think our cameraman's in trouble. <laughs> it's Tyler. It's our cameraman. <laughs> you can tell he's excited. <laughs> You think Rolando's gonna get a rose? He just might. Yeah, 
there, no doubt. Men, women, and children love Gustavo. Not so sure about Rolando, how he feels about getting the rose, but gotta say, one of our longest reigning television champions. And one of the most charismatic here at JCP. This young man has come a long way. Confidence personified on both ends. There you go, Orlando's a little bit uh, flustered over there. <laughs> Both men are wary of each other and I don't if I just witnessed for the first time Gustavo coming to the ring and grabbing everybody by the throat with frenzy. Oh, wow. Look at Orlando. Uh -huh. Trash talking uh, <laughs> Gustavo there. <laughs> well, now, Rolando's pulled off some pretty big victories. He's, he's wait, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, you, you said earlier, well, you yeah. wondered if, if he was going to get a rose. Looks like Rolando's going to get a rose. Yeah, I, I didn't know Gustavo would, uh, would feel this way. But, but you got to remember, Rolando has got victories over Matt Cardona in the NWA. And he's done a very, very well, great, good job for making an name for himself. Uh oh. Wait a minute. He just said, I saw your wife. <laughs> she threw that rose right back at Rolando. Well, sometimes you, your timing's not always there, Rolando, but... Uh, oh, well, wait a minute. Oh, there you go. See some dancing here. A little too quick. Hey, hold on. Slow down, Rolando. Take your time. You'll be fine. This guy can dance. Let me tell you. Please give me a beat, everybody. Uh oh. So confused right now. <laughs> that's my thing. That's my thing. That's, I'm, I'm, come on, man. I think he's saying it's gimmick infringement. Orlando trying to torque that arm. I don't think it's having the effect he wanted it to. Well, Orlando would have played to his strengths. And uh, he's got to be quicker. He's got to be quicker than Gustavo, and he's got to make the right decisions, the right moves. Here go Rolando. Might have to do a little bit different strategizing here. Back on that arm again. Hey, Gustavo usually has pretty good strategery. But then again, you're working with a guy, you're wrestling with a guy here. And Rolando, who's been around. The, oh, whoa, whoa! They got him tied up there. 
Little Oklahoma roll action. Gustavo has the crowd solidly behind him here. Oh, Rolando picks the leg. Yeah, but I don't think Rolando needs to be showboating as much as he needs to be taking advantage. Gustavo, a leap for him. Huh? Big arm drag. Make it two. Drop kick. Wow. And he's outraged now. Is Rolando. <laughs> So far, Gustavo has done a great job of confusing Rolando. You talk about confusion and, and confidence all at once. I think uh, Rolando uh -oh. shook up a little bit. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Rolando's minute. got the baby. Hold on. No, 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 no. Please don't throw the baby. Well, that was nice. Oh, man. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad Gustavo got that baby back in the, oh. his wife's arms in time. Yeah, I think being distracted at ringside uh, certainly is an advantage for Rolando, but Gustavo took a hard, hard hit on that, tur on that corner post. Oh, right over the steps. Right over the middle steps. And Rolando back in and doing his little celebration dance. Smart move, Rolando knows you gotta beat him in the ring. Oh man, huge floor. Oh man, that was a drop kick right to the face. Oh, oh. a cannonball right into the man. corner. There we go, that's no. You know, you really can't take nothing away from Rolando here, Doc, because it, despite his size, he is explosive. No matter uh, what you weigh, when you come in with that velocity on a cannonball like that, it's gonna, you're gonna feel it. Oh, he kicked his knee right out from underneath him. I told you, Rolando, strategy was going to be good during this match. All of the weight right on the abdomen region. Uh, he's not covering the shoulders. He's got him on that middle rope now. I go so far, Rolando staying on top of Gustavo here. Rolando's doing a good job keeping the heat on. Whoa! Here we go, there's a cover. Gustavo feeling the effects of that elbow. And it's still only a two count. Gustavo staying alive here. Crowd trying to get behind Gustavo here. Woo! Rolando laying it in. Nice duck. Slide through. Ooh! What a kick to the head of Rolando. And Gustavo. Big monkey flip out of the corner. Looks like uh, Rolando hit the back of his head on that. Got him measured up here. Looks like we're going to go up for some punches here. Ow. Solid. Rolando's trying to bro uh, block the punches, but to no avail. Oh, he got out from underneath Ooh. him. Hey, caught him with a kick there. Gustavo going all the way up top. Oh, Gustavo. He got caught. 
on that top rope. Gustavo took a chance and he lost out. Orlando shook that top rope. Abby Pat facing uh, Rolando there. That's it. Oh, he got him. <laughs> Gustavo. Quick pin right there. Rolando distracted, messing around with there. Gustavo's wife over there on the front row. There's your JCP television champion, Gustavo. Much to the delight of the fans here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in this week. We're going we're gonna to get out of here, Doc. Anytime you see Joe Pizzano Promotions, you can bet there's going to be the best in professional wrestling. East Tennessee is getting an array of talent from the TVA, the Stu Crew. You got Pollo Loco, you got Axton Ray. You got ladies, you got women, you got all the wrestling that you want in East Tennessee. Joe Pizzano Promotions is bringing it to you. If you see JCP on the poster, you better come see us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right here, and we'll see you at the matches.